Hi, I'm here to show you one of the many ways you can set up Neal Console 3D. In this case, we're setting it up to record a band live in the studio. I typically record to Pro Tools, but this should work for any DAW. Let's start out by opening up my tracking template. My template contains all the inputs and all the headphone aux mixes. So we're going to quit Mio Console, and we're going to navigate to the Mio Console 3D Preferences. We want to get rid of these preferences so that when we open up Mio Console 3D for the first time, it opens up in its default stage. Do we find the preferences? And we trash them. So now when we open up Mio Console, we have our default setup. In my case, I've got my three boxes, my two ULN8s and my one ULN2. Mio Console automatically has a Q system set up, which I'm going to delete so that I can create my own. The cues are fed by these aux buses. So let's go ahead and delete the aux buses as well. Under the Mixer tab, configure Mixer, and choose zero for the number of aux buses. You can see in the monitor controller, it's got your main and four auxes. And then if you watch your monitor controller, it will show just your main monitor output. All the inputs have direct outputs set up in the default. I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to start by naming all my input sources. It's always a good idea, especially when you're building a template that you're going to use all the time. So this is going to be my band template. It's got drums across the first eight tracks, bass, guitars, vocals, any virtual instruments will come later. Once I've got all my tracks named, if I look across the top, I can see that all my input sources are set to defaults. I'm going to change them to reflect my setup. I use several ribbon mics in my drum setup and also for my guitar cabinets. Now let's set up some direct outs to the host computer. I like to set up my drums pre-EQ or insert because I'm never sure exactly how I'm going to process things later on depending on the song and the production. The rest of my tracks, I like to make decisions before I track. So for the bass, the guitars, and the vocals, I've got some settings I like to use. So these will all be post EQ or insert so that I can use the Mio strip on whatever tracks I need to. Now let's create a little bit of screen real estate by going up to my mixer window and choosing narrow. And of course, as in any good recording session, let's save. I typically like to save things with a date so that when I make changes, I can always get back to something that I've had earlier. In fact, the next time I open a session, I'll always save as with a new date. In video number two, we'll set up plugins for tracking, hard mutes, virtual instruments, and a click track. 